the Toyota Grand Highlander represents a new approach for the mainstream Japanese brand, moving it into the space of big, big, big three-row crossovers. And now it's Lexus's turn to take a bite at that very particular Apple. This is the 2024 Lexus TX, and it's debuting appropriately in Austin, Texas. It will arrive in fall of 2023 with a turbocharged engine and a hybrid powertrain, and later on a plug-in hybrid model, all to do battle with the Audi Q7, Cadillac XT6, and Infiniti QX60 for the dollars of well-heeled families. We're gonna take a very close look at all the things that are new and different on the TX compared to the Grand Highlander, but before we do that, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, share, click the bell, ring the box, do all the things that you need to do to get more videos like this in your feed. Well, the TX is closely related to the Toyota Grand Highlander, its powertrain lineup is surprisingly distinct. The standard engine in both crossovers is a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder. And in the TX, it makes 275 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. And that is slightly more than in the Toyota Grand Highlander, and we're checking on why there's such a small discrepancy there. The TX distances itself from the Grand Highlander with a 500 H trim, though, which is equivalent to the Grand Highlander's range-topping hybrid max powertrain. When MotorOne.com senior editor Jeff Perez tested the Grand Highlander a few weeks back, he praised the Hybrid Max trim, which makes me think this 366 horsepower combination of turbocharged engine and electric motors will be a strong option for the new TX. But if you need more gusto, the late availability 550H Plus plug-in hybrid is available with 406 horsepower, 33 miles of all electric range, and up to 30 miles per gallon combined. Lexus's estimate for the TX 500H is a respectable 24 mpg combined, while the turbocharged TX 350 should come in at a modest 21 mpg. The TX takes the spacious three-row cabin of the Grand Highlander and gives it a heaping helping of luxury, courtesy of revised materials throughout. The door panels are amply padded, and there's plenty of leather both on the seats and throughout the rest of the cabin. Lexus is promising an extremely quiet interior too, with additional door and roof seals, as well as sound absorbing material under the extremely capacious cargo area, which provides up to 20.1 cubic feet of space, even with a third row in place. Beyond those passenger friendly details, the TX carries Lexus's modern tech suite with a 14 inch center touch screen and a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. On the safety front, Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0 comes standard on every TX and includes full speed adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with pedestrian detection, and lane tracing assist. Traffic jam assistance is available as an option, as is an auto parking system for parallel and perpendicular spots. The exterior changes from the Grand Highlander are more substantial than the interior tweaks. A small upper grille adopts the same design characteristics as the recently revealed LBX, while the lower grille is about as huge on the TX as on the Grand Highlander. Thankfully, the smoothed out look is easier on the eye. At the body sides, the D-pillar wears a blacked out finish, while the tail adopts a vehicle spanning light bar with a traditional Lexus word mark. Not only is the TX a all new vehicle for Lexus, it will also be the first Lexus badge product to roll out of Toyota's Princeton, Indiana factory. And unlike the Lexus GX, a video of which you can watch by clicking right here, we won't be waiting long to know what it's like to drive. The first turbocharged 350 and hybrid powered 500H models will arrive in dealers in the fall of 2023 with the plug-in hybrid 550H plus arriving at what Lexus is calling a later date. For much more on that, be sure to check out MotorOne.com and head over there now for the full write-up on the 2024 Lexus TX.